from Austin, Texas. These are my nieces. This is Susie Hi. and Addie. Hi. And we're so glad you're joining us again this week. You guys, what is this Sunday? What's coming up? Easter. Easter Sunday is this Sunday. And this is a special week we call Holy Week, leading up to Easter Sunday. And there's a lot of big events that happened in this week in Jesus' life. And so tonight, we're going to talk about one of those things that's actually happening tonight. But first, we need to do our drawing from our challenges from last week. So here are some videos you guys submitted. Fear not, I have you with me. I called you by name, you are mine. Welcome to the King Talent Set. First up, the big Okay, let's do the drawing now. Susie, will you mix it up for us? And don't forget if you wanna be in the drawing for next week to send us pictures and videos of you doing the challenges. And let's see who the winner is. Susie Burns! Oh, you won! <laughs> Congratulations, this is Susie. That's awesome. Okay, oh, crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, we are going to jump into our Bible story for tonight, and I'm actually going to read it from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And if you don't have one of these, let me know, and we'll make sure we get one to you guys. We're borrowing the Bible you guys have here. We're going to be reading The Servant King. This story is about Jesus having Passover with his disciples, and today is actually Passover. And some of you might be having Passover meals with your family. So this is the way the story goes. It was Passover, the time when God's people remembered how God had rescued them from being slaves in Egypt. Every year they killed a lamb and ate it. The lamb died instead of us, they would say. But this Passover, God was getting ready for an even greater rescue. Jesus and his friends were having the Passover meal together in an upstairs room, but Jesus' friends were arguing. What about? They were arguing about stinky feet. Stinky feet? Yes, that's right, stinky feet. Now the thing about feet back then was that people didn't wear shoes, they only wore sandals, which might not sound unusual, except that the streets in those days were dirty. And I don't mean just dirty, dusty dirty. I mean really stinky dirty. With all those cows and horses everywhere, you can imagine the stuff on the street that ended up on their feet. So anyway, someone had to wash away the dirt but it was a dreadful job. Who on earth would ever dream of volunteering to do that? Only the lowliest servant. I'm not the servant, Peter said, nor am I, said Matthew. Quietly, Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, picked up a basin of water, knelt down and started to wash his disciples' feet. You can't, Peter said. He didn't understand about Jesus being the servant king. If you don't let me wash away the dirt, Peter, Jesus said, you can't be close to me. Jesus knew that what people needed most was to be clean on the inside. All the dirt on their feet was nothing compared to the sin inside their hearts. Then wash me, Lord, Peter said, tears filling his eyes, all of me. One by one, Jesus washed everyone's feet. I am doing this because I love you, Jesus explained. Do this for each other. Now one of Jesus' friends had made a bad plan. No one else knew what the bad plan was, but Jesus knew, and so did Judas. Judas was going to help the leaders capture Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Go on, Judas, Jesus said, and Judas got up from the meal, left the room, and walked out into the night. Then Jesus picked up some bread and broke it. He gave it to his friends. He picked up some, a cup of wine and thanked God for it. He poured it out and shared it. My body is like this bread, it will break, Jesus told them. This cup of wine is like my blood, it will pour out. But this is how God will rescue the whole world. My life will break and God's broken world will mend. My heart will tear apart and your hearts will heal. Just as the Passover lamb died, so now I will die instead of you. 
My blood will wash away all of your sins and you'll be clean on the inside in your hearts. So whenever you eat and drink, remember, Jesus said, I've rescued you. Jesus knew it was nearly time for him to leave the world and to go back to God. I won't be with you long, he said. You are going to be very sad, but God's helper will come, and then you'll be filled with the forever happiness that won't ever leave. So don't be afraid. You are my friends, and I love you. Then they sang their favorite song and walked up to their favorite place, an olive garden. So that's where we're going to stop today. And if you and your family want to pick up to keep reading the other stories leading up to Easter, but first I want to tell you guys what our memory challenge is because Jesus washed his disciples' feet to set an example for us of how we should love and serve one another. So our memory verse, can you hold that up, Susie? Our memory verse is from John 13, 34. So repeat after me. Love one another. Love one another. You must love one another. You must love one another. Just as I Yes, I have loved you. I love you. John 13. John 14. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. 34. 34. Okay. So I hope you guys learned that verse this week. And this verse also applies to people in your house that you need to love that are sometimes harder to love, right? It's a good reminder that we must love one another just as Jesus has loved us. Addie, can you grab our serve challenge poster? This week for our serve challenge, we're actually gonna serve the people in your family this week. So I want you to wash each other's stinky feet. Oh boy. <laughs> and after you wash their feet, I want you to tell them why you love them and how much God loves them and pray for them. So take turns washing each other's feet and having a time of blessing together. And finally, for our family fun challenge, we want you to go on an Easter egg hunt around your neighborhood or in your car. If you're in Memphis, we have a list of addresses of people in our church that have Easter eggs in their windows. So you can drive around, walk around, look for Easter eggs, take some pictures and share those with us. We actually painted some Easter egg um, pictures to put in our window here. This is Addie's. Mm -hmm. I made this during a kind of quiet time yesterday. And this is yours. Yes. And I made this one. So from us here in Austin to you guys wherever you are, happy Easter and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye! Bye. Before you go to the next page, I just want to say how mean it is to kill your friend mm -hmm. just for money. You should not do that, okay? Yeah. This story is not an, an example of what people shouldn't be doing. It's an example of what people should be doing. You picked up a cup of <laughs> <laughs>